Today I want to talk to you about Photon. Photon is an auto-generated database client. Now, what does that mean? Typically when you're writing an application, you're either working directly with your database directly using a SQL client or a MongoDB client, and you're writing raw queries to that database. This can be quite brittle at times, especially when you want to move quickly. Other people will use an ORM like Active Record to move quickly, but these have some of the limitations uh, that many other ORMs have. Photon is in a new category. Photon will generate an API based on your application schema. And this application schema is something either you create yourself or you introspect from an existing database. So we're generating an API around your database to talk to your database safely and efficiently. Let's dive right into that. Uh, so I'll head on over to VS Code, and you'll see that I have this project.prismo file, and this we have a data source here, and uh, it ha it, it's going to point to an SQLite database called demo.db. We are generating a Photon client. This is a JS client here, and we're generating it to node modules that generated Photon. In the future, we'll have all sorts of uh, programming languages supported here, but for now, it's, uh, we just support JS. Uh, and then this is a blog, and so we'll have a model for user and a model for posts. Now, the easiest way to get started with uh, Photon is to uh, first install Prisma 2. Okay, and then run the Prisma 2 dev command. And what this will do is it will uh, create a database for you and automatically migrate for you and, as, and create a JavaScript client for you. So now that we've got the, the migrations done and the, the client created, let's go into a main.ts file and play around with it. So the first thing we'll need to do is import Photon from the at generated Photon uh, dependency. And then we'll need to connect to it. And we'll run a dot connect, and we'll just add the disconnect at the bottom as well. So we're wrapped up. Okay, now let's see what we can do. So the first thing you'll notice is that everything is type safe and it's based on your project.prisma file. So in our project.prisma file, we had users and posts, and in this API, we have users and posts. Let's see what we can do. So you'll see a bunch of options here. We're going to only cover a few today, but I encourage you to uh, investigate these options yourself. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll create a user. And one of the interesting things about Photon is it's extremely type safe. So you can auto-complete your way to success. And so let's see, we need an email, we need a name. We need posts. Um, and then, so the, one of the interesting things about Photon is you can actually do nested creates. And so let's create a few posts here. And so the next step is to say create. And now we have the options for posts. And we can actually create quite a few of them by just having an array here. And title first post, title second post, this is looking pretty good. Let's run this and see what happens. Uh, actually, let's before we run this, let's actually create the find so we can actually see the data that it created. So we're going to go ahead and find one. And you'll notice we get more options here. And where should pick up? Looks OK. Yep, looks okay. And so you'll notice here that at unique adds uh, where will only work with the at uniques in the primary key. And so it automatically picks up on that to know that we can do find one. So it's extremely safe in how this works. So let's pull the user. And let's get a little more crazy here. So we also saw that there's this select option here. And the select option had posts. And so we can actually grab the title 
of the post. Oh, let me find, we need to do select again, and like that. And then let's also grab the email and the name as well. So just like SQL, you have a extreme granularity in how much data you want to select. Let's run this now. Okay, so in a new terminal window, I will just try running this using TS node. Awesome, and it looked like we got everything we needed. So I'll cancel this, and let's just play around with this find one a little bit. So in addition to being able to select certain things, we also have an opportunity to say first one and it will pull the first, we can say last one. There's all sorts of options here that I'd encourage uh, you to play with. We also have a ton of docs on this stuff that I would encourage you to look through as well. Lastly, if you have any questions, uh, please find us on prisma.slack.org.